Good morning everybody, welcome to Natasha Makes and it's not me making today because it's Wednesday, therefore it is our fabulous Stitchy Witch Jane Alcock. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. I'm nice enjoying the spring sunshine. Line. Yeah. Well you have brought the spring and yes. the sunshine into us today. It's lovely. Finally spring. Yes, it's so nice. We've had so doors open and windows open, letting the air through, it's been lovely. Actual air. Yes. <laughs> There. Without going, oh, shut the door, it's freezing. What a treat. <laughs> what a treat. It's all good, isn't it? Um, so, um, half me to heavens for tomorrow. Mm, so we've got those to show you. We have got, in fact, I need to post on social the photo of Inga looking very smug in her <laughs> William Morris top, holding, proffering up full um, collection. the full collection. We've been cutting it this morning. We've both been going, oh, look Ooh. at this. This is beautiful. It's a bit special, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. So well done for those of you that managed to get that on, on the incredible deal that we've got for you. Today, um, a little change of pace. We have got um, some Studio E fabric aren't they beautiful they're stunning the colors are beautiful it kind of reminds me it's like faux tile yes little really sort of beautiful. dresden blues aren't mm. they really like the dresden china yeah and and just the tile print yeah throw in some butterflies and uh win-win what could you want win-win so we have put together there is this panel here and this i mean this is folded in half like there's another another half to that panel there we've got these in various forms if i just oh look there's all our secrets <laughs> just holding it up a little <laughs> bit because it's a bit wonky a bit a bit a bit Wobbly. here we go so if you would like to get this free quilt pattern um so that you can use that panel Jane is going to show you how to make that. You've made it just as a cushion, which is yes, just gorgeous. Yes, just made it into, used the panel to make, well, I was just going to show you how to make the block, which makes up the quilt. I mean, it's a very, it's yeah. a nice, nice, nice make, nice straightforward. Now, this is a free project that goes with the panel. Yeah. Um, there's no cost for this. We will print it off, save you looking for it anywhere. Yeah. All right. And it is by Lucy Cravato. That's As the lady that printed the fabric, isn't it? And it's Heidi Pr Pride Moore that's designed the quilts. Yes. Thank you for being clear. Sorry. It's just... No, 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 no. That was, that was like a genuine thank yeah. you for being clear yeah. because credit where credit is absolutely yes, absolutely. Deep. Now, if you would like the big, big panel, Jane is going to show you how to do these. Do not be scared. It's all very beautiful. Um, and actually, it's a panel sashing those blocks sashing sashing more sashing and you're done yeah so it's it's a nice easy well not yeah it's an easy make it's an easy make it's a nice project um it's, it's a big comes it's out quite large sizable, isn't yeah, it? it comes out quite large i think it's 57 by 77 yes yeah, so whereas a good the other single quilt bed size is 46 by 60 and a half can't forget that half. No. So they are the two bundles that we've got in terms of everything that you need fabric wise. Now the kits, we've done them as per the instructions. So they are yardage. We've, Ooh, right. So you will get what it says in the instruction. Actually what it says. Yeah. Cool. We so, like that. But that she's been generous with her, you know, her quantities. So you should have plenty enough. And then, so this is the block for that panel there. And so, you know, if you just, if you want to buy this and some of the fabrics, we've also got um, an accompanying bundle of a metre of white and a metre of navy as yes. well. If you want to just boost what you've got, um, you might just want the panel and then just plain navy and white. That's entirely up to you. The white has taken months to get in. Yes. We've been waiting ages for it, and our bolts have been getting lower. I know, and lower I know. <laughs> um, but we've just had notification this morning; it's back in stock. Thank good. goodness. Um, so yeah, you could be making just cushions, and I love this. You know, be the reason someone smiles today in this crazy old world, yeah, Jane. Absolutely, we need a bit of that. Absolutely, we need a bit of that. Absolutely for sure. Um, so we have that. You said the itty bitty ruler. Yes. The itty bitty eights ruler. Comes in handy 
and I'll explain why later. Okay. Um, are you going to show? Th I don't really want to touch them because you folded them really prettily, <laughs> and now I'm scared. Um, but they are available. What we had left, not in kits, are available by the half meter. I'll leave you to. Well, I can go through the kits, can't I? Because all the fabrics are there. Bingo. There and we go. And then you can see the beautiful yes. fabrics closer. Back in stock. A roll up, roll up. Back in stock. Our stuffing tool. Always handy. Lovely little gadget. It really is. Really is. It's great for poking your corners out with as well because it's just that little bit softer on the end. You're not likely to yeah. poke through your tilda toys, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Hooking the end of a ha bag handle. Yes. All of that. Also back in stock. Do you remember when Gary did that demonstration mm. with you want your needle to snap, not bend? Yeah. I always thought you wanted it to bend. No, you oh. want it to snap. And he did a snap test on these and he's like, yep, yeah, that's exactly what you want. There are a hundred in here. Bear in mind that Gary from Dukey, for those of you that are wondering, who the heck's Gary? <laughs> Gary from Dukey, who is our resident expert. I say resident, like he comes here a bit. He um, doesn't actually yes. live here. No. Um, but I quite like him too, because he's very knowledgeable on the machine. He's really knowledgeable <laughs> and just such a really genuinely nice guy. Um, there are a hundred needles in here. So for those of you that still have like one or two needles left in the five pack that came with your machine, shame on you. Yes, because you shouldn't have any left. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't have any left. them all by now. For those of you that, like me, did that because you were worried that you wouldn't ever have the right needle or enough or forget to, just get a hundred pack. It's, it's honestly, it's revolutionized my life. I changed my needle after every project, yes. which means far fewer problems with your machine. That is, at Dukey, the very first thing they ask you to do. It's a bit like when you've got a problem with a computer, have you tried switching it oh, off and on? Absolutely. If you've got a problem with your machine, re-thread it. Yep. If that doesn't work, change your needle. Absolutely. Right. Half meet heavens for your delecta. Oh, no, hang on. Jane, 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 Jane. Get this head electro for you. Rude. How blinking rude. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. Very sorry. Um, happy birthday, Claire. Claire Angelina or somebody else, Claire. I don't know. Let's have a look. I just saw Karen say happy birthday, Claire. So I'm going to assume it's Claire. I know that her birthday's soon. Oh, right, okay. Because she was saying about it and how she'd given lists to people. Because that's what you have to do, don't you? Give people lists and then you get exactly what you want. <laughs> and don't have to pretend that you like what they've given you. <laughs> uh, there are no words. Uh, morning, Valerie. Morning, Julia. Um, good morning, Anne. Um, good morning, Sylv. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Pam. Um, Anne is seeing things in the quilt. Oh, right. She's seeing eyes, but I think actually it's, it's the, butterfly but it's the butterflies. Yeah, the butterfly wings. That's what it is. You see, for me, that looks like a Parisian mask. Yes. You know, the masquerade mask. Yes, yeah, because she's com combined like a paisley within the design. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just it's really beautiful. clever. It's so pretty. Uh, morning, Karen. Um, she went shopping yesterday because, so of course, she can be here today. Yes. I'd love to see a dress in this blue. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Ooh, um, nice. Morning to Elizabeth Krangle. Good morning. Um, Dukey on auto captions comes up as Dukey or like Ducky. Dukey. <laughs> Dukey. <laughs> Dukey. Dukey. <laughs> morning, Margaret. Hope you have a hip hop. Hooray, happy birthday, Claire. Yes, lots of love, Claire, this morning. Morning, Liz. Morning, Leanne. Morning, Anne. Morning, Rona. Good morning, Bridget. Um, morning, Nikki. Morning, Bridget. Morning, Tracy. Um, she's recovering from COVID. From the bid. Morning, Julianne. Do those needles work with any machine, please? They are universal. Yes, yes they do. Yes. yes. We use them on all of ours. Good morning, lovely Lisa. She's watching this morning. And good morning, Colette. Good morning and good morning, Margaret. Right, okay, let's have a whiz through these. Then yes, you can crack on. There. Let's move this ruler out the way. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was cutting very small squares this morning. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Right, right, right. Um, for those of you that don't know, these are our half meter heavens. So we do the hard work so that you do not have to. I've only got two of these, look, two of these left. Yes. Um, I've put teal with it to just em emanate the background. Is that the word I want? Reflect the background, yes. go with the background, whatever. Yeah. Um, that's the way. Oh, do you know what? Last week we did a thing where I unfolded everything, you folded oh, everything it. back, and it really Let's worked. Lewis and Irene, Wales on Dark Ocean. I love that, it's got narwhals on it. 
with slate is what I put with it. Can I also point out to you that they are sparkly? Yes. There's a little bit of sparkle in there. Um, They're the beluga whales, are they? I can't the ones with the high domed heads? They're belugas? I'm going to say yes. Um, I don't know. I'm not that good on my, I don't know. on my marine life. Do you know what? It would be Emily and Freddie that would be able to tell you because they would, Octonauts is, yeah. is the way forwards in our house. Um, and yes, I've promised them a swimming bag each. They'd be ideal, wouldn't they, with yeah. the whales on? Yeah. Yeah. It's either that or Koi Paloi. Oh, yes. Yeah, that would be fun. But they get to choose. I only have two of the Minikin Simpson um, stars left. This was my favourite colour. I love that. Out of the stars. I put it with slate, but I've only got two. So you know what happens. First come, first serve. Now, I have got, this is the last of this one of the Minikin Simpson. I've put that blue with it because it just pulls the blue, doesn't it? Makes yeah, it pop, 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 lovely pop, cadet pop. blue. It's gorgeous because it's that sort of soft. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, soft blue. And this is what we have. we have. We have the technology, which means that we can look at this stuff. Oh, right. So, Christopher Wilson Tate. This is Glastonbury in Indian yellow. But Inga, uh, Inga, Inga loved this one because of all the neutrally colours in there. Yeah. But it is very, very beautiful. But look at the birds and everything else. I put it with silver mink because it just pulls those neutrals in there. Just remind me of the Indian tree design on the china that you see in it's the. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Really beautiful. Um, so that is that. Um, Jane Sassaman. Love Jane Sassaman. Small Sassaman. folk art. This is the now, last few bits of that as well. This is. It? Then the rest of it has gone. So we've put it with this purple because, because, because we've also done for the very first time that out of the Jane Sassaman as a half meets heaven. Now you'll see that this is all working rather beautifully together and then purple do you know what else i thought about these oh, can yes. i just bear in mind the bag i made yesterday that i will demo friday if sarah Payne is still full of the vid um this is a half meter heaven bag cool half meter contrast half meter done sorted so that's just a lovely size bag it's i really mean handy. look at that that would look lovely could be that could be that. I mean, you could you could mix it up and you could do handles in that, whatever you wanted. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Jane. Of course. This folk art one is lovely for if you were going to use it for a bag because it's got that stripey oh, pattern that to bit. it. Yeah. You know. <gasps> oh yes. That's going to give you some design options, isn't it? There. Yes. That's lovely. So that's just a little a little aside for you. Now this is your farmhouse paisley. This is again, this is another Minikin Simpson, but look at it with Cardinal Red. How beautiful is that? I'm going to show you this actually on a close up because. Jane, 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 Jane. Sorry. Look how beautiful that is. It's just really pretty with the little ditzy flowers mixed yeah. in with the paisley print. It's just a lovely fabric. Ah, yes. Um, this, we're down to the last four of the B floral. And I've put That's it this time. So pretty. Uh, is this the light decker with amethyst? It's pretty. We put it with the chambray. We did. And that flew. But this is just beautiful. Pretty. Roman glass pastel with pomegranates. We put it with teal. This is the last of it. And this time we've put it with pomegranate. So nice. again, if you got it last week with the teal, maybe you want to just do a. So yeah. then you have a meter of that and how. Ooh, wow. Lovely. Um, coleus dark. Let's just enjoy this for a second, shall we? That is such rich tones in there. It's so sumptuous. It is. And look what happens when you put that with it. Doesn't it soften it? It does. It really does. And it pulls this, this colour. And it pulls all the detailing in the veins. We're overhead, Gem, so you're OK. She's stuck. I know, but she still needs to duck because she yes. doesn't knock the not, camera. She doesn't want to bang yeah. her head on the camera. Um, I have got three of the Dorothy with blush. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Um, we love the Dorothy and this time I've put it with blush because look, it just pulls all of those. That's so and pretty. And again, really softens. Um, Cloisonne Orange avec... Cloison. Oh, Cloison. All right, all right, all right. Um, 
with purple. <gasps> Look at oh, that. I know, I know, I know. If you oh, were to do I that bag. Yellow and purple together. Jane, that bag in that, I mean, right? Statement piece. Yeah. People will be going, oh, I like it bag. Where have we made, had that from? You go, But I then also, <laughs> as another colourway, just going to say. Oh, that's lovely and sort of classic, isn't it? Yes. One? Yes, yes, and yes. So I might have to make myself one in that. I'm going to have a lot of these bags, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. But they I are. That's okay. They're the sort of bag that you need because they're great size and nice and yes. nice Easy and robust. Easy to make. Easy peasy to make. Nice. So just have a little think about that, and I'll show you how to make it. Like I say, if our lovely, lovely Lara, uh, lo lovely Sarah Payne is not feeling quite above par Bless her. i did say didn't i that is just half the panel there's another half to it yeah but i'm gonna it. show the whole panel was making the tea. yes did Gemma was making the tea did i mention the cream, half of design no i was just going to say that so if you spend over 50 pounds today and that will be for today stops at midnight or whatever or whenever Gemma's up tomorrow do you want these off. do you need them no. We're ahead of the game. We've already we done, done it. Um, so, excuse us while we just have a quick meeting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so if you spend over £50 today, we will add in a bonus design a half metre of fabric. Nice. We've had lots of fun already this morning, haven't we? Choosing yeah, which ones to put with which to go with bundles, yeah. Yeah. Handpicked by Inga and myself. Beautiful. Jane, I'm going to get out of your hair. I'm going to take all my bits and bobs. Cool. I'm going to go and sit over there and sup my tea. Lovely. That Gemma has lovingly made for us. I'm okay. also going to duck under the camera. And Let's uh, have a closer look at these fabrics. Go on, and I'll go show on, you go on, go on, go on. the kits. This is the kit for the larger of the two quilts. Oh, lovely. And there's a big old discount on these as well for you. Yeah. Um, a nice sized quilt to do on your domestic machine, you know, and because it's done in sashed round, you could quite easily quilt that yourself on your machine. It's quite a nice, a nice project to do for a beginner, I think, really, because it's not complicated. It is literally the panel sashed. This little bit here with the orange peel effect blocks is a nice, easy way of doing them. So again, not complicated, nice and straightforward. We've got the mosaic tile. The beauty of the patterns is you've got a coloured sheet with all the fabrics listed so you can see exactly which fabric the, the codes refer to on the needs list. So once you get your kit, go through it and just put a label on each one and then you'll know exactly where you are for when you want to come to do the, the cutting out. We've got this beautiful it's called medium mosaic and it's just like a tile fabric. Reminds me of Dresden tiles. Love it. And it's got this very subtle butterfly print in it there and then little butterflies here. It's really beautiful. And in the pattern she suggests, she suggests, I can't say it, got my teeth in. <laughs> she, she sells suggests seashells on the seashore. That you fussy cut the squares for the pattern. And it's like quite easy to do and you could decide which bit you wanted to fussy cut. There's plenty, plenty of options in there. So that's the um, medium mosaic. We've got most of these still on the um, available by the half metre, haven't we, Natasha, I think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't think it all quite went into kits. Yeah, I think some of it we were limited by the amounts because you've got um, two yards of this one which Ooh. I think this oh, yeah, is but just it's gorgeous. beautiful look at that a beautiful butterfly <clears throat> that's obviously used paisley as its inspiration there's a beautiful paisley print this is called it's just called paisley this print here look look at that the blues in this are just sumptuous they're like oh I don't know it's just really fresh and perfect for spring Nice spring blues, nice and crisp and clear. They are beautiful. And I love Studio E fabric. It's a lovely, it's a lovely quality fabric. Really nice to work with. It is beautiful. So that's your paisley, and then you've got your medium butterfly with paisley wings. 
that's what it's called. And that's used for the big border on this quilt. So you've got two, you'll have two yards and, and we, are, I have to, we have cut it as per the pattern so you will get two yards, not two metres, but still in plenty enough to do your project with. Well, I mean, it's, 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 what, it's the what it's asked yeah. for, isn't it? This is stylized butterfly. And again, this is really pretty. It's a nice delicate pattern. Um, this lovely rich navy colour. And the, again, the butterflies there look with the paisley wings. Just Beautiful. That's got an Indian feel to it, I think. There is, there is a bit of that sort feel. Of, yeah. You can almost feel the heat on some of these sort of tiley prints. Yes, so pretty. So that's the... Um, stylized butterfly that print then we've got the monotone vine and butterflies which is a lovely tea, rich turquoisey color which is lovely Ooh. and again in here you've got beautiful flowers and there's the butterflies in here as well so if you wanted to when you're um, in the one pattern it says about fussy cutting you've got the option of fussy cutting the tiles or you could fussy cut one of the flowers whatever you like it's beautiful fabric so we've got that one in there and then this one's really pretty and delicate look at this one this is called tiny tossed butterfly the Americans like tossed <laughs> <laughs> when they're Your doing face. their oh, we like scattered <laughs> but the Americans used the word like to toss, toss. <laughs> their we would say that's scattered, wouldn't we, in English? <laughs> in English. In the Queen's English. In the Queen's English. We would say There's some words, aren't they, that don't quite translate, don't translate when they no, come from America. they do not translate so quite this is so well. Tiny Toss Butterfly. <laughs> ah, you and I would say it was scattered. I it's got a beautiful little a polka lot. dot on it and these lovely little tiny butterflies. It's beautiful. They're about the size of a five pence coin tiny tiny they're gorgeous that's a lovely print <laughs> I could see little girls dresses in this one <gasps> Miss Emily Miss Emily would love a butterfly dress she's heavily into fairies at the moment yes which drives Freddie absolutely insane which is hilarious um, and just makes me laugh quite a lot because Freddie's into Pokemon which <laughs> makes us all quite insane with all these words that you don't quite know how to say do you because they're but he knows yeah he knows exactly and emily knows how to say them on like what is going on here i know it's amazing isn't it how they pick things up and Just then there's some plain navy and some plain white perfect. that go the amounts that you need for the pattern and then this is the panel and this is just oh, beautiful gorgeous isn't it now We've this got a panel on its own on make its a beautiful own, yeah. runner you could just have that panel quilt it and bind it and that would look beautiful. I can see that on a pine table in a country kitchen, can you? Just stunning. Just stunning. And again, it's got that sort of tiled effect to it as well. And the beautiful paisley butterflies. Gorgeous colours. Absolutely stunning. Lovely, lovely. So the pan that panel is width of fabric and 23 inches wide, I think. Yeah, 22 and a half, 23, yeah, 23, 23 inches. So it's a good size. You could, you could make it into a bag, actually, couldn't you? Because it's, it's replicated on both sides and it's directional. So you'd have one side of your bag like that and the other side of your bag like that. Nice. So you're not going to have to worry about cutting it and making sure it faces the right way. It's simply just fold that in half, soak the sides, add some handles, boom, bag. <laughs> boom. boom boom bag i love that morning steve good morning um margaret says yes they are beluga whales they're the white ones thank you margaret apparently john bishop did a show where he accompanied two beluga whales all the way yes from the water i saw park that to show that was Shanghai amazing to Iceland. i didn't see that's one to watch it was brilliant so emotional is it like these, um, they were captive whales and and kept in not particularly nice captivity and they rescued them and then they take them to this park that they're still in captivity and being looked after and monitored but um, have amazing space to roam in which is beautiful right next pattern next quilt kit 
Next. 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 Can you just this. excuse the rustling as I just pulled my back? Oh. And I'm just taking a quick painkiller before before it decides to, you know, do yeah. anything silly like spasm or anything. And, so um, all the fun. This is the um, one using the squares panel. I'm going to go through this, the, this panel because there's some beautiful designs in that. It uses 12 of the um, designs on the panel. You've actually got 18 in the panel. So you can you. mix and match, change them, make three cushions to go with the quilt, whatever you like. Um, a nice straightforward pattern. It's flying geese and squares and strips. Easy to do. Nice and straightforward. Not too big. The quilt size finished 46 by 60. Lovely for the back of your sofa, wrap around your knees or your shoulders in a nice cool evening. Take into the garden, have it on your garden bench. Beautiful. Now so, again, these fabrics are available by the half meter. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as well. You've got a nice um, large piece of um, white. There's one and a half yards. We're talking yards here because it's an American pattern and we've cut the fabric to the pattern. We've shown you those fabrics. You've got your stylized butterfly your paisley and your monotone vine and butterflies there. And then there's another fabric that we, we have in the collection. Um, this one is called, oh, it's a French word, foulard, is it? Foulard. Foulard motif. I don't know, Gemma's here. She's, she's the linguist She's here. just nodded at me. She, there's absolutely... Let's drop the D ever so slightly. Foulard. <laughs> foulard <laughs> motif. Uh, no, Gemma, put those down. Put them down. Oh, for goodness sake. You know what's happened? She's got her super soft leggings on again. So yes. And her trainer is... Oh, buttery soft. Buttery Sorry, soft. buttery soft leggings on. So she thinks that that means that she can start She's making stuff. everybody stroke her legs yesterday. I mean, stroke it's a good job. Leg, like She is like HR <laughs> in our department. Because we're looking at going, Gemma, do you mean stroke your legs? She's like, stroke my legs! I'm like, okay, okay, weirdo. So that's a really legs. pretty pattern fabric there. That's um, in the corner squares of one of the blocks. So all those fabrics will make that quilt. I think we've fabric. called it the squared one, I think. <laughs> I can't remember because <laughs> on the pattern... We've been really descriptive. Yeah, it, in the pattern, it's quilt one and quilt two. It's a bit like, you know, Dr. Um, Dr. Seuss, thing one, thing two. I love Dr. Seuss. This is the panel. You've got some beautiful... Can we go over... Um, yeah, we can. I'm just, I'm just pinning something. Bear with. Multitasking. And as my father would say, doing none of them well. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Um, so you've got here, as I said, we've got 18 squares. The quilt uses 12. So you've got, got the option to make three cushions. Put them in bags. Beautiful. You've got butterflies, pretty tiled effects. These remind me of um, Moroccan tiles, actually. They're a bit gorgeous, aren't they're they? They're a bit lovely. And then you've got some motivational. An open heart is an open mind. I've got Ooh. this upside down. Let me turn it round so we can see it properly. There we go. An open heart is an open mind. Beauty is in everyday things. And the be the reason that someone smiles today. Yay! So beautiful. It's lovely colours. The I can't tell you how nice these blues are. They're really like gorgeous. China blues. Give it, give it a go. They are really gorgeous. Tell us, tell us, tell so us. So you get that panel well. with the squares, the squares quilt, and we have the panels to buy separately as well. So there we go. That's the panel. Right. Shall we make something? Yay! Shall we do that? Yay! Okay. You've got in here all your cutting instructions are. Um, in your in your instructions very straightforward nice squares simple shapes nothing too complicated you need to use from your panel you need to cut a six and a quarter inch square right so this is where your itsy bitsy ruler comes in handy because you can place you just need to be a little bit careful because they're not quite square what Mm. Oh, come on. Who makes not square squares? It's just a little bit off. So, oh, Jane, you just need to place, place your ruler over the top and just line it up just so that you've got it 
central and this is where these six and a half inch rulers come in really handy because you can line that up draw around it if you want to or use your rotary cutter draw around it use your scissors or just rotary cut around the edge and because you've got the diagonal lines on the on the creative grids you can really center centralize your your square within your pattern right. so it really is it's really handy to have that size ruler it really helps it doesn't make square squares makes it it's just because they've got like that sort of sketched feel to them and I merrily went round and cut an eighth because they're like they're like six and they're just six I think and I cut an eighth round each side <coughs> and then was starting to put it together and I was thinking why isn't this fitting and then What's went back and measured on? the square yeah and it was just do. a little bit not quite square <laughs> which is a bit frustrating <laughs> but it's beautiful oh, and it works oblong yeah not obviously but <coughs> yeah not <laughs> enough to notice <laughs> Most words. Yeah. So Jane has uh, obviously now that Jane's told us that. Whoops! I'm just throwing eggs everywhere. Don't mind me. Um, all will become clear on another day. <laughs> so you've got your your square that you've cut out. You've got strips of fabric. Now she's cut. She says to, to cut these at two inches, and it's literally sewing to the top and the bottom, which we're going to do. We use a quarter inch seam throughout. So we'll just do that. I'll put the iron on. I don't think I did. Oh, it will probably need plugging in. Yeah. I do, do that, that thing. I've become my mother. No, but it's you're right to do it. I have to here. We've worse. got too much fabric here yes. to risk anything. We don't want anything happening. No. Um, so you line those up with the top and bottom of the square. And we're just going to sew. Oh, Josh didn't change it. He We've was going to change our... Yeah, there he you go. changed it. Oh. Well, that's annoying. I don't know if it's a big job. You know when you feel really... Um, I don't, I don't know if I've just asked them a big thing. Yes, sparkly unicorn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a thing with Josh because he does our tech stuff where we requ we make... I make requests of him. We make requests <laughs> having no idea. We call them sparkly unicorns. We're like, we would like this sparkly unicorn, please, Josh. Um, and he then has to tell us how sparkly that unicorn actually is. Um, and what I mean by that is if it's actually remotely possible that's so, what our sparkly unicorns are all about isn't it jane yeah we've sewn the strips at the top and the bottom and then we're going to sew the other two strips to each side so we're basically framing the square mm -mm. i'm going to go on this one instead look at that there you go Concentration. So, um, okay, you've probably said this, and I wasn't listening um, because I'm I'm trying to multitask. Did is this an easy make? This yes, particular one. I think. What so. level are we looking at? Well, um, what was the lady's name that's designed it? Heidi, Heidi Pridemore. She has said it's advanced beginner. Okay. I think, you know, anybody would be able to pick this up and follow the instructions and make a nice quilt. Oh, nice. So I don't think it's overfacing for anybody, really. Yeah, I'm always cautious when to kind of brand something as difficult or this or that. Or the no, other. I don't think, I don't think it is difficult. Just, you know, it's straightforward. 
I think maybe the, the instructions make an assumption that you know some things. Oh gosh, I never assume any knowledge. Well, yeah, you just have to be careful, don't you? Now, in the instructions, it says, once you've framed it. Well, that's why it's good we've got you, Jane, because you're telling us everything. Well, we're trying our best. So, once you've put those, and then you trim the block to measure eight and a half by eight and a half. I think she's done that so that it's an easy measurement to cut the strips because I think what you're doing is you're literally trimming off a quarter of an inch off right. each side. Got it. So um, I took it down to three quarters. So I, I laid I laid the three quarter mark on the edge of the on the edge of the strip there. Just going to bring that over slightly. I just want to make sure that I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think actually we can take a bit more off there. It's just making sure that you're centralised because it's four and a quarter. Now, if you wanted to, what I think this is what I did actually when I'm thinking about what I made, how I made the cushion, is I folded the square in half down the middle of the panel the square panel so I found the halfway mark mm. and then I lined up the four and a quarter with that crease right that's what I did and that way I knew that I'd have equidistant from the middle of the block just well, lining up with my seams at the top and bottom just so that I know that I'm square and it's probably just a little <coughs> bit more than a quarter of an inch. I think that's what it was. But I think what Heidi's done is she's, instead of giving you like cut a one and five eighth inch strip, she said cut a two inch strip mm. and then um, trim it down. Which, you know, sometimes can be easier to cut than... Karen says, well, we've had it all this week. Fancy knobs on Monday, a strap on on Tuesday, and now tossed on Wednesday. This is How it. are you still on air? Can we have no idea? Say, no, we have we no idea. Should have been thrown in Facebook jail <laughs> by now. You have to be so careful what you say, don't you? <laughs> Oh, One, two, Sue three, says four, both of mine believed in fairies and I expect the now 26 year old still secretly does. There's nothing secret in our family about it. No, we believe in fairies. I believe in fairies. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, Joe says I couldn't resist some of the William Morris. It was calling to me over Jane's shoulder, so I treated myself. Do you know what, Joe? With the week you've had, you deserve it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's stunning fabric. I it can't tell you. Inga and I have really oohed and aahed over it oh, as we've been cutting stunning. it. Um, Claire says foulard. French for scarf. Drop the D at the end, you see. This there is we it. go. She knows. Alice, She's a lady that knows. Looks very pretty. There we are. We're eight and a half. Eight oh, and, and can half. we sell, uh, save the salvages for, for John J. Cole Morgan, please? Oh, right. He does like a good salvage. We do like a good salvage. Love a good salvage. Okay. So that's, that's trimmed now to eight and a half inches square. Mm -hmm. We're now going to make the flying geese. Right with the plain white and the stylized butterfly. Okay. And again, it's a nice straightforward way of doing flying geese. No, you know, cutting um, two and seven eighths or anything like that. that. Two and a half inch squares, two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangle. Perfect. On the reverse of your squares, do your diagonal line. And I always go from the middle out so I don't stretch my fabric too much. So we place the rectangle on your square so that the diagonal line goes from the bottom corner to the middle of the, of the rectangle. Mm -hmm. It is slightly bigger, it's okay, it needs to be slightly wider, is what I mean. Right. It doesn't fit exactly halfway, because when you come to join it, you're going to cut this, press it away. You want to have the other triangle going across the top, so you've got your seam allowance at the top. I will okay. show you, it will make sense. <laughs> I promise. All making sense today, Jane. All the sense. 
So we're sewing on the line that we've marked. So it's one of those where you sew on the line. Right. And so um, when that happens, it's one of those things that just, just be aware of your needle position. Yes. Isn't it? It's if you've just changed the position to do your quarter inch seam around your square, just make sure you put your needle back to the middle. We're going to trim the corner off. We've lined up the quarter inch mark of our ruler with that sewn line and we're trimming that corner off. And then we're going to press that back to remake the rectangle. Cool. This is all very beautiful, Jane. Did it you enjoy is, doing this one? I did, I did. And it was, you know, as I say, it's a nice straightforward make. There's nothing complicated about it. All the measurements are, um, you know, either full inches or inch and a half. So there's no... Nothing there to trip you up. No, none of that seven eighths or five eighths or anything like that. She, she's obviously made it in such a way that, you know, you don't have to worry about I don't want to say being too accurate because that's the wrong way to say it but you mm. know you can you can just get on and make it it's a nice make to do so we're now going sometimes to trim that away you need those makes don't yeah you? you do something that isn't just you can once you've made one block you could chain piece this you know oh, really? and it just get one block together following the instructions and then you're away and you can do it in, in sets. You could make all your flying geese. So we're pressing that one back now and that will reform the, tr the rectangle shape which will give you your flying goose, geese. <laughs> I'm glad you don't know what to say either. It's flying geese. And although it is you flying geese but it just feels yeah, so grammatically it incorrect. It does. What you might want to do is you might want to just trim it back down sometimes you just get a little bit that comes over the top there so you want to just make sure it's two and a half that way and just square that top bit off it just helps when you're joining it together you'll have lots of little triangles left if you want to you could mark half an inch away from where you've done your diagonal line and you could sew both lines and then when you trim that quarter of an inch you'd have these already made into little tiny squares they mm. come out that size which is usable, you know, they would come out as an inch once you'd sew them together, so they would make nice little pin cushions and things like that. That's something to bear in mind. Well, I think so. So once you've made all of your um, flying geese, you're going to join them together in pairs. Mm -hmm. And you need, for each block, you need eight lots of flying geese. So I'm just going to join those together in pairs. Mm -hmm. And we can chain piece that quite easily. Well this is all looking very lovely I have to say. It is a lovely, a lo and it will whoop. Make sure that you put your quilt, your needle back to your quarter inch. <laughs> oh, like, you know, like, like we were just saying. Like we were just saying. Yeah, Funny that. no, it's always good. Morning, Vanessa. Morning, Jacqueline. Morning, Angela. Um, oh, Elizabeth said, Jane didn't hear my remark about her hair looking pretty. She was talking. Please, could you repeat it? Elizabeth says, your hair looks very pretty today. Jane. Thank you. That's very nice coming from a hairdresser lady. Is it it, it is, yes, of angle? course. Yes. It's like a double compliment, it isn't is. it? When it comes from someone what knows hair. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Pat. Um, how are you all getting on with your um, cockerels? Just out of interest. Have you started them yet? We had some leftover feathers, Jane. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. So um, the kids have traced their own cockerels just onto A3 paper. Yeah. They're colouring in the body and then we're going to stick on the rest of the feathers. Oh, that would be lovely. Yep. That's a nice Easter egg project to do, isn't it? Well, you know, grandparents like that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm thinking. Um, that's, that's my thoughts on the matter. It's a good idea. So we're going to press those open so that we've got them in pairs. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Can you hear my stomach rumbling? <gasps> you not had breakfast yet this morning? Mind breakfast. you, first. it's lunchtime yet. <laughs> it's lunchtime for you. <laughs> I haven't had dinner from last night yet. Oh, I don't know what happened. Just ran out of time. No wonder your tummy's rumbling. No, right? I did have a coffee this morning. Oh, well, that's the main thing, good. isn't it? Right. So you'll have four lots of pairs. On Oh, pretty. On two of those, you're going to add your monotone but vines and butterflies. I did do a little bit of fussy cutting with the butterflies mm -hmm. and a flower on that one. The others I wasn't, I didn't think about it. I just cut it into squares. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sew, on two of those strips, you're going to sew the squares onto each end. And again, you can chain piece that. Oh, I can hear some rigorous taping happening yes. in the that other room. It sounds like large parcels it being put together. It does sound like some large parcels. Yeah. We've had fun selecting the uh, three half metres of fabric as well to go with the with the large orders too. That was, that's was that been good fun. Well, I think it's nice. It, it's those moments where we get a little bit of, of extra zhuzh, isn't it? We get, yeah. to, we get to choose. It's not like we're not a robotic packing station here are we like no we're actual people we enjoy the fabrics we enjoy the process so it's lovely right so we're going to press those um are we from there yeah that's some proper packing noises going on in there i'm so excited for you to get these fabrics they are so beautiful i would love to be a fly on the wall when people get their full collection because oh, I think I there'll be a bit of squealing going on. <laughs> I bet there will. I bet there will. So now we've got those, we're going to. Um, <gasps> Gosh, this comes together. It comes quite together quite quickly, so quickly. It? it does. We're going to join the two strips without the squares on to each side. And this is why we've trimmed them down because those now fit onto that strip quite nicely. Fabulous. Have your flying geese facing upwards when you join them onto the strips and that way you'll see where the seam meets and you'll make sure that your seam just comes inside so that you don't lose the points on your flying geese right. units. My, my patchwork teacher used to say to me, you sew on the side with the most information. Do you know, I do, I hear you. <laughs> it's I it's actually true, it really you. does help. It really does help. That's because I, I hear her when I'm sewing as well. I hear I hear Chris tell it, telling me things and it's like some things you just... <laughs> Voices in my head. You just don't forget some of the things you're taught, do you? No, no you don't. Or oh, you shouldn't. There you go, that's going to help, isn't it? Morning, John Carl Morgan. Okay, I joined as you started today and bought so much of this fabric. Backings, always forgot the backings. Always forget the backings. Well, I mean, the thing is, John, what we've got is a metre of navy and a metre of white. So, you know, if you wanted to just do, like, strips, you could, couldn't you? Put yeah, back in. that would make it a lovely back. Trying to think what we've got our extra, blue. we've still got some of our extra wides, haven't we? we um, have, there's yeah. some of the ombres, is there still? Oh, yes, the they look nice on the black, gorgeous on the back, rather. Now, yeah. what I've, I've done is I've pressed the seams in towards the white. Now, normally you wouldn't do that because you wouldn't want the shadow of your white, but because mm. you've got so many seams on this side, it's easier to press it in. Right. And what you can do is you can just turn it over and if you can see any of the blue showing over the white, you can just trim that back. 
Okay. You know, sometimes you might just get a little bit of your um, blue fabric poking over the top of the seam. Mm. And if you do, just take your scissors in and just trim it back and then it won't <gasps> show as a shadow. What? Scissors? Jane. So you've got those on the side now. And because we've pressed that seam in, when we come to place this one on the top and the bottom, we can nestle the seams at the side because that seam's going that way and this one is going towards the square. Perfect. So that helps you to line everything up and make sure everything fits nicely. I'm enjoying this tremendously. It's a lovely block and, and it was so nice to make it into the cushion. Again, you know, with those little um, positive sayings in the squares. That would make such a nice gift and you could make or you could make this square into the front of a bag. Yeah. Couldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. And that would make a nice little bag as well. And I think, you know, given current situations, anything positive. Yeah, I think we do need it, don't we? At the gotta moment. be good. Gotta we be good, do. right? Yeah. If you feel more comfortable pinning it, of course pin it, but I'm quite happy with the way that it just nestles. So, I know, think there comes it's a, a confidence point. thing, I think, yeah. and, it, and you'll get to know when you feel confident enough just to slam it together. <laughs> <It's a> technical <laughs> term, obviously. It is clearly a technical term. But if you want to just, you know, double, double, be doubly sure, you pin it in place and then you know it's all going in the right place and it's, it's, um, you know, it's all very well sometimes just slamming it together, but sometimes if you do that, you might just need to unpick things. So pinning is always that added, added um, reason to do. Keep it nice and precise. Yeah. We like that. We like that a lot. I think you could make this quilt top quite easily in a weekend. Do you think? Yeah, oh. because it's 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 very much one of those that you can chain piece together in in units. So you could, you know, do all your cutting out in the morning, get all your flying geese made in the afternoon, and then the next day you could be putting it all together. Oh, that's great then, isn't it? And that's you know that gives you some nice. And actually, I think I'm going to press this again towards the white, just right. because it again it's the least amount of seams to resist, and it'll lie flatter. Right. It just feels a little bit alien sometimes when you're pressing towards the light fabric because that's not really what we tend to do. We tend to press towards the dark side, but you've got least resistance and it will last, it will lie flatter, which will give you a nicer finish. It just makes me laugh. And I am not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like Sarah Payne and a, and a massive like Star Wars fan or anything, yeah. but every time it does make me giggle yes. when we pin to the dark side. We go to the dark side. We I do. think you can even get quilting, quilting, you know, bags and things like that that say things like that. We press the dark side with Lord Vader's face on the side of it. Amazing. Are you a big Star Wars fan, Jane? Um, being a mother of boys, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mother of boys. You get no chance. Um, Not mother of drag. Well, yeah, I could be mother of <laughs> dragons, actually. <laughs> I think that's me. I think that's me. I have a tiny dragon at home. Um, and she uh, likes to think that she rules the roost. Well, she does a little bit, doesn't she? <laughs> Her brother is at the age where he, he just likes to um, press, press a few buttons. Yeah, because well, he can. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he can. That's right. And yeah. uh, so we have quite regularly in our house, Betty, stop winding me up. <laughs> I love that she knows that he's winding her up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, brilliant. Fully. Fully, yeah. in full knowledge. They, they both are in the full knowledge of the winding. Yeah. It's fine. So once you've made your blocks, mm. if you're going to do the quilt, what you would do, because you make rows of three. Oh, nice. Yeah. You would place your sashing in between the blocks. Mm -hmm. um, one of... So you'd have a row of three with sashing in between. If you did it on, let's say, we, you put them all on the, on the right-hand side, the very first one, you'd have to put one on the left-hand side and then you'd have all your sashing going through. Beautiful. I'm going to do this like I did the cushion top, so I'm going to sew either side. Mm -hmm. 
of this just to make sew those on. And this will grow quickly, you know, it's um, your quilt top, as I say, I, I think you would, you know, quite easily make this in a, as a weekend project. Pretty good, it's the sort it? of thing that you can just sort of get really absorbed into and enjoy doing. We like, we like this a lot. We do, we do. And it's this beautiful paisley fabric, it's just, I do like a paisley. Oh yeah, so Claire has the same. Adam and says, Mummy, Ryan is bothering me. <laughs> But only because he bothered him first. Yeah. I mean, yeah, let's not, let's, you know, yeah. yeah. I, th I think we all know that that is generally the case. However, yeah. there's nothing quite so righteous as a child that feels that he has been wronged yeah. by a sibling. Absolutely. Being an older sibling, you used to get the younger one prodding you, prodding you, prodding you, prodding you until you retaliated. And as soon as you retaliated, you'd be the one in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you'd just be like, <laughs> As the younger sibling, I concur, that's exactly what we do. <laughs> yes. Just to be bloody minded. <laughs> just because you can. Just because you can. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the trick, yeah, but it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because, um, yeah. You're old enough to know better, is the answer to that. Oh. Yeah. Did you bother him? Yeah, well, you're old enough to know better. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. There's no winning, is there? No. There's no winning in this scenario. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's nothing changes. This is what I'm starting to realise in this crazy world that we live in, is that nothing changes. No, absolutely not. And, uh, absolutely not. You know, all the things. All the things that our parents said to us, we find yeah. ourselves saying to yeah. our... I'm just going to have a slip of coffee. Totally. Um, we find ourselves saying to our children. Yep, completely. So once you've got your rows joined together with your sashing in between, you would make the sashing strip to go in between those rows, to join the rows together. These strips are the same size as the side strips, but then you add your squares to either end. And you would need three of the strips like this and four of your squares, and you would join them together in rows. And I suggest to you that you join three of your strips with one on the right-hand side or the left, whichever way you prefer to work, and then join those together and then put your final one on. Just stops it bowing as you sew. John's making me laugh. He says, I went back and ordered more. Didn't get the panel. Um, must do it. So, yes, it's mine. John, 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 John. This is what being stuck in the house does to you, I think, isn't it? Oh, yeah. John, what day, what day are you now on? Isn't it only day three or something? Bless oh, I don't him. know. I'm not <laughs> Just... entirely sure. Poor chap. No, 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 no. What day is he on? Gemma's gone. 12th of April. He's back on the 12th of April. No, no, no. As in, like, um, as in... Isolation Andrew's day. And isolation. Isolation day three. At least he's got that beautiful garden and gorgeous weather to go and sit All outside right. in. Do you know what? Looking back, when everyone into lockdown, weren't we so incredibly lucky with the weather absolutely could you imagine what would have happened if it had just been one of those summers where it just rained all the time oh gosh it would have been mutiny yeah there would have been a lot more people with poor mental health than there are now i think if we'd have had such a rotten time with the weather at least you could get out and about and walk couldn't we in the nice D. sunshine yeah yep perfect I mean, we were, we're lucky we've got a nice go big garden. We've also live in a village that's got a lovely canal that goes through it. So we've got lovely canal sidewalks. Oh, we also have lovely. a disused railway line. So we've also got beautiful walks up there as well. Look at you, show off. I know. We were so, <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> saying to Glenn at the time, we've got you know, the lot. we're so lucky to live where we live. Because uh, you couldn't imagine if you lived in an inner city in a tower oh. block. With young children, you must have been Oof. climbing the walls. That hour that you got to go out. Oh, gosh, yeah. You'd, have you'd been be tempted to not take the kids or anything. Yes. Like, it's my like, time. You stay there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, we have. We've been, you know, there's so many things that have helped us get through this. You know, the internet technology that we have now. Oh, yeah, you know, for sure. The way that we've been able to communicate with people virtually and all of that, it's really really helped us. It made the difference between, because at one point my daughter hadn't seen her grandparents for more than half her life. Yeah. And they were so worried that when they did finally see her, she wouldn't remember them because she'd been such a tiny, tiny tot when they'd last yeah. seen her. But I tell you what, there was one day when they did finally, when lockdown was lifted a little bit and they were finally able to come and see us. And that little girl ran into Barry's arms. That's my dad. Yeah. Um, the kids just call him Barry. Yeah. Um, like, collectively, Grandma Barry, aren't they? Like, Grand Barry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Grandma Barry. Grandma Barry, all on my word. Um, they, they clearly, because they come, they come as a pair, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that is the collective grandparent name. So this is how your sashing strip would look if you were joining, if you were making the quilt. Mm. So you'd have your square, a paisley print, your square, your paisley print. So you'd have four of your squares and three of your strips. And they would sit in between your rows. You'd fit one, join your rows together with the strip in between, and then you'd add a strip to the top and the bottom. And that's your quilt made. That's amazing. how straightforward it is. That is really amazing, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. So for the cushion, I just used the strips, I joined the squares in the corner, and that made the block. So attaching the top and the bottom there... And I am going to pin this because I've pressed the seams go both going in the same direction. So I'm just going to pin where they join so that they sit nicely against each other. Gorgeous. These would make such lovely garden cushions, I think, with the butterflies and the and the lovely. I know I keep going on about it, but they're such crisp blues. They're just so. <laughs> yeah, I can't it's quite get over true, it. Jane, how lovely because these it's blues true. Are. I, I'm I am a blue person, and and I just this this shade of blue. It, it does it for you, it doesn't really, it? Really, I do. Totally I love does it the Dresden you. the Dresden plate type blues, Dresden china. I just love that. And this was it. So when we were planning this show, Jane, we wanted to show, because these quilts are pretty simple, really. Yes, They're they really are. effective, but they are simple. And if we could show you each of the blocks, then you would be able to then choose which quilt to do. Bearing in mind, there is, um, there's a saving to be had on these quilts as to what they should cost and what we've actually put them out at. We're tr it's one of those things that everyone's worried about their bills going up and whatnot. So we're just trying to trying to help where we can. Yeah. It's a, it's a line, isn't it? It's like, do you carry on your hobby, which keeps you sane? <laughs> well, yeah. Or do you cut back because you've got bills to pay? It's very difficult. And I think if we can help you to carry on with your hobby. not switching again Jane it's oh, very dear. annoying so I do apologize that's okay so we're going to press those up and then you'll be able to see then that this is basically the block I used for the cushion I layered it up and quilted it and again very simple quilting you don't need to do much just go in literally around the seams nice just nice and straightforward and you could do that with your quilt as well just simply following the seam lines would give you a lovely effect if you wanted to do a bit more experimenting with the middle. I mean, these blocks lend themselves, if you were making this into a cushion, the embellishment you could do on these, oh adding beads goodness, yes. and embroidery stitches, embellishing it any way you liked, adding buttons and things, beautiful. As I say, it makes a 17 and a half inch block, which is 17 inches finished. So it's a nice size cushion. It really is. Um, uh, you could make it into a bag front, Beautiful. 
So if you didn't, if you felt that the quilt was too much for you to do, you could just buy, you know, some meterage of the fabrics and make yourself, and the panel and make yourself some cushions for your garden or something like that. Just copy in the block. So that's that's the that's quilt. Is that quilt one or quilt two? That's quilt one. So quilt two mm -hmm. is even even more, if that's possible. What? Even more straightforward. Wow. It is literally sashing quilt two. You take your um, you take your large panel. You'll trim it back slightly, and again she uses the same method where she's put the strips around it. You'll trim this back so you trim your salvage the selvages off, and um, neaten up the edges there. She tells you exactly what size to trim it to. Add on your um, sashing, and then you trim that back. So again, she's giving you nice round numbers for cutting, so that you don't have to worry too much about you know, making sure you've got it accurate because you trim it back afterwards. You'll do the sashing round it, sashing, sashing, one sashing. And then this block um, emulates um, a, a technique called orange peel, the block. Oh, I like this. And um, now when we used to do orange peel in the old days, <laughs> in the old days, oh, we'd have to day. cut excuse me, templates out, curved piecing, which is fine, it's lovely. It's not hard to do curved piecing. I think people get a little bit worried by it, but it isn't. I mean, you showed yesterday with the bag how easy it is to do curved piecing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That noise was me having a drink of water. I, I know I, my water bottle is squeaky. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know, actually, if, um, if Lisa caught yesterday's show and saw the... Uh, so, so, <laughs> so the absolute mess. No, I don't. I made. Yeah, this wasn't a um, complete mess, was it? But it was. Um, do you know? And I have to share with everyone because there I was. Uh, I, I did. Un I did go forward, didn't I, Jane? And unpick the flap to make yes. sure that it went on on the right way. And what did I go and do? Undo the wrong one. I unpicked <laughs> the one I had put in correctly. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was it just round. it was just one of those moments where you just go, this is too farcical for words. Yeah. And I need to now just stop. <laughs> oh, this is rather beautiful. So it's made up of three three blocks. The pa the pattern is she's she's put them and I'll, I'll go through it in a moment. So you've got your four patch here with your two orange peel segments or petals if you want to. You've got a four patch with the petals facing into the middle to make sort of like a flower shape. And then you'll have two, a block that looks like that with the three facing that way and the three facing that way. Mm -hmm. And then you make some with the leaf facing the other way. And it's all explained in the instructions and the construction of it is all very straightforward. But these blocks are so easy to do. And Hooray! I'll show you now. You like an easy to do. <clears throat> I'll show you how to do this block here because once you've made these you can do all of the other blocks they're straightforward mm. so steamer seam oh we like steamer seam it is one of my newfound favorite things where's it been all my life Jane and this it's the I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say this <laughs> I'm going to say the scattered butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> it's the scattered butterflies and the paisley print. <laughs> you get a template with your instructions. <laughs> and quite often you'll find with the American patterns, they do you a little test square. Yeah, just to make sure that you've printed it out To make sure right. that it's to scale. So that square there is an inch. So just place your ruler over it and make sure that it has come out at an inch. And that gives you the right size. You could all learn from that. We have. We've learnt lots from <laughs> that. Why don't this go together? You go back to your template and go, ah, oh, that's oh, mine. I didn't check it, did I? Yeah. So trace the petal shape onto your steamer seam, your bond web, whichever um, sheet adhesive you like to use. Which is your favourite, Jane? I think I'm a bond web person, but I did use the steamer seam and I was like, mm, I like this. 
because it gives you that little bit of tack, doesn't it? Yeah. So that you can position it, and then if it's not quite right, you've got the option of redoing it. You know it. You know it makes sense, yeah, Jane. You absolutely. know it makes sense. So um, she tells you exactly how many of these you need to cut, trace off, and do. We haven't included the bonding sheet in there. Um, well, it's one of those because, things, isn't it? You know, we have it have in the stash. Own. We sell it. We sell it by the half meter, don't we? Mm. And I think you all need. I think she tells you in here how much you need. Um, I think it's a metre or a yard, as I would say here. You need to make of these um, 52 petals, 52 petals. So yeah, I would, I would say um, a metre of the adhesive, um, iron on adhesive would be the best, would be the right amount to have. Uh, I'm going to pinch your sizzles. Yeah, Cassid, my standard parenting line is I either punish both of you or neither of you. Which one will it be? Generally, it sorts itself out pretty quickly. I'm going to use that, Jane. That's a good idea. That's a really good one. Yeah. And Karen says, there was no ruining in our house when growing up. I'm making up for it now. I'm married. As clearly, I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's, it, it's a wise man, isn't it, to just accept that Absolutely. as the status quo. These scissors are a bit sticky. Oh yeah, no, there's a pair that I right royally ruined the other day. Soz Jane. That's okay. I've got the other pair now. The other pair. I know. So I'm just trimming this, these yet. round because, you know, you don't want to waste too much of the... And you can keep these small pieces because they come in handy for tiny applique, you know, if you're doing little pictures and things. So... Just going yeah, to... I've got a whole box now beautifully covered oh jane you know what i forgot to tell everybody no what have you forgotten um so after monday's storage box upcycling show yes i forgot to tell everyone that i have in fact ordered for you for those of you want that want to and you'll you'll understand this when you get your instructions to permanently adhere the box because the way that i showed you is so that you can remove the fronts of your boxes oh yes yeah yeah um, but if you want to have them permanently like that and you're, you're using uh, like um, H640 rather than cardboard, I've ordered in a whole load of HH650. Now, what is HH650? I hear you all shout. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Pick me. Um, what is it then, Jane? It's double-sided, isn't it? Fusible. Yeah. Yeah. It's double-sided, fusible. It's really handy, and if you've never worked with it, um, I've used it quite a lot when I'm in a rush to um, to finish off a quilt. I'm not yes. gonna lie. No, that's good because you can, you know, you can fuse your backing and your front on. It's yeah, quite, it's quite handy in that regard. Great for cushion making as well. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, and we've got that on a special deal. So for those of you that have never tried anything like it in your life before, give it a whirl. Why not? Um, it's on a special for today for you. So we've taken a pound off, I think. Um, but it's HH650. It's not all that readily available everywhere, you know, Jane. No, I think it's quite hard to come by. I yeah. think we're, we're quite new to it, aren't we, this side? So... Um, I think it's been readily available overseas, but I think um, we're just coming to use it now because it it's it is such a, it makes life quite easy for everything. Right, so I've cut these out. I've bonded the I've drawn them on the paper, bonded them on. I'm going to take the paper side off. I'm not going to flick the side because it doesn't always come off, and you're in danger of fraying your your fabric. So I just scratch it with a pin through the middle just to release the paper. And the thing with the steamer seam is you've got, it's it's tacky now, so it's easy to position. Love so you've it. got your square. Now just remember that you've got your seam allowance, so just make sure that your petal shape sits in a quarter of an inch 
from the corners. Right. Bear in mind that you've now probably got it on the bias, so don't stretch it too much, just lay it on, but make sure you've got that quarter of an inch seam allowance space. So don't worry if you put it on and think you've cut it too small because it doesn't go corner to corner. You don't want it to. You need to have it so you've got your quarter of an inch either side from the corner, but you want it sitting diagonally across your square. Okay, got it. And that's um, easy to do. And as I say, with the steamer seam, it's great because if you don't put it down on the wrong place, you've just got that bit of wiggle got, room, haven't you? You've got the, the chance to take it off, but it'll hold it on while you take it to the iron. It won't move because sometimes with the others, you t as you take it to the iron, it just shifts slightly and you're just like, oh, I've got to reposition all of that again now. And do you know what, Jane? It doesn't matter what best of intention you have to just pile these things up on your ironing board. I always forget. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I mount it all perfectly and then go, uh, I've got to move it now. Or you pick something up and it wafts it. <laughs> or the, bell, the doorbell rings and the yeah. cat run throughs or yeah. the dog run throughs or something. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. all of that. All of that. Or we actually have the door open because it's not vile outside. Which is lovely. And all of that then happens. There we go. So once you've ironed those on, you can stitch just inside. You could do a blanket stitch. You could do a decorative stitch round. If you wanted to, you could hand stitch it, whichever way Steady you'd like. On, Jane. You know, again, nice to sit, do them all, bond them all. Take them into the garden and do a bit of hand stitching. Oh, nice. Sitting in the sunshine, they're nicer. I'm not going to sew these now because um, I've got the wrong colour thread. I would have changed it to a blue thread, dark blue thread to go round those, which is what I did with these. I just sewed them just inside, just inside the line. Enough to hold them, keep them in place. Um, you wouldn't really want to, to not sew them, particularly if you're using them for a quilt, because eventually over time and washing, they would come and unstuck. So you're now going to make this into a four patch. So you've got your stylized butterfly and your um, medium mosaic, I think it's called. Mm. Um, you've cut those into squares the same size as these squares. You're going to join those in pairs as I say, I had a bit of fun fussy cutting the squares with mine, so I got the, and it just so happens there's the lines there, so you can That's centralize it. That's um, Join them together in pairs and press the seams towards the plain square rather than the square with the um, petal shape on. Again, just because there's less seams and things that will um, get in the way as you flatten it, you know, it makes it lie flatter. So Jane, um, lots of conversation on on the Book of Faces about, um, and I like to think that as quilters we are helping the planet because Josh has just realised that his um, utility bill is going to double and um, Karen has said that she chooses uh, quilting and sanity over heat and the thing is quilts keep you warm. They certainly do. Which is the other thing. So Joshua now wants to learn to quilt. Hope you've been paying attention. <laughs> Over all these years you've been working with us, Josh. Well, he was helping me with some things and, and he's designed it. He's done a lovely design of a quilt, so... Um, yeah. Is that the one that you said was a beautiful design? Not sure if it would be easy to do? Yes. That one? Yeah, yeah. that one. This is the trouble when you're using a, a, one of the software packages and you can design anything. Yeah. Sometimes you have to think about whether it is actually feasible to make. <laughs> actually doable. You yeah. want everything, don't you? Actually so, doable. Because we've pressed the seams to the... Um, plain square, we can then put those together mm. and the seams nestle in the middle. Yay! That's rather lovely, isn't it? Jane, you know I was doing something with tiddly tiny squares. Yes. And I cut Have you done what it? I thought was a lot of tiddly tiny squares. It turns out I might not have quite cut enough. Look. Oh, it's looking bit left. lovely. I don't know when I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. I'm just going to tease you with it for a little bit now. Yeah. But it is quite pretty, isn't it? It is rather pretty. And of course you can do the twiddle in the middle with this four patch. Oh, we love a twiddle in the middle. 
And for those of you that think, what on earth is she talking about? Whoop. You, where have you been? Um, yes, there is that. What you can do, and I'm going to go on a close-up on this, Tash, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 go for it, go for it, go for it. Where you're... Is it a Wednesday if we haven't had a twiddle in the Well, middle? this is it, isn't it? Margaret would be disappointed. Where your seam has gone, that's the last seam you've, you've gone, you've sewn. So where that goes across the top there, in that seam allowance, there's a couple of stitches here. And you just want to unpick those. There might be one, there might be two, there may not be any, but you want to unpick them. On both sides, oh, I've just twisted my seam over there. Just get those out. And then what you can do, because you've pressed the seams in opposite directions, when you open this out, you can press one down and one up and it will make a nice little four patch in the middle. What that actually does in practical ways, it's not just look pretty, but it actually reduces the amount of bulk in the middle of your block. So when you come to quilt it, if you wanted to quilt across the diagonal, you won't have a great big wadge of fabric here that might make you go in a bump and knock your sewing. No, we don't want bumps and knock sewing. <laughs> uh, Vicky says, oh, Tash, hope nothing breakable was in the vicinity when you unpicked the wrong one, the wrong <laughs> flap, <laughs> or anyone sensitive to language. Vicky, I was with, um, I was with Gemma. What do you think? <laughs> sensitive to language? Crikey. She, she invented half the words. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> She's just had a little raise of her eyebrows. But Vicky's loving the blues. This is good, you see. We are pulling you away yeah. just from white, Vicky. This is it. Um... So to make the borders, it tells you here, you, you create what is effectively block one, block two, block three and block four. And then here it shows you how to put them together to make your um, rows that then go around your quilt. Amazing. So that's the centre panel, which is slashed. You yep. make your blocks, you join them together as it shows you quite clearly here. They're just such lovely, easy to follow instructions. And then another sash border, which gives you that beautiful, beautiful quilt. <laughs> Margaret Again. says the world is well, it's twiddling in the middle Wednesday. <laughs> it certainly is. John Con Morgan says Gemma never has bad language. Well, John, I think we both know that's not true. Or are we just calling it descriptive? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so there you go. That's how you do both of those quilts. The kits are, as I say, we've cut the kits to the patterns, so you get the right amount of fabric for each one. <laughs> we've got plenty of, of cut to order fabrics as well of this collection, so if you just, you know, fancy just having, having a, a go. go at the cushion. Well, Josh says cushions. that he is, uh, he is suggesting a <coughs> Natasha Makes Winter Bills collection, a <laughs> compendium of hat, glove, scarf and quilt instruction with fabrics. <laughs> Not such Absolutely. a bad idea. Not Brilliant such a bad idea. idea. Brilliant idea. Hilarious. Oh, Jane, thank you so much. It's so pretty. You're so welcome. So pretty. Let's just have another. Hang on. Oh, beautiful. And I'll just show you again how those those blocks would go together you'd have that and that or even that and that that's the way it goes either that way or that way and they all join together in a row in in a sequence that will make the borders for your for beautiful your, for your other quilt not for this one that's just the blocks for the for the one quilt and then this is the the block border for the second quilt with the long panel. This has got the long panel in it and that's got the squared panel in it. There's something so timeless, isn't there, about blue and white? Yes, a classic, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it goes with most things. So guys, remember for today, we have got, um, when you spend over 50 pounds, um, you get a free half meter of um, designer fabric. Beautiful, nice. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, There's a lot of motor being slung around this Hand-picked designer fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> done with love. Um, Jane, would you like to show the finished bag from yesterday, please? Yes. The one with the flaps now in the in the right place. place. Beautiful. There we and are. And then when you spin it around, Jane, what happens? <gasps> oh, look. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I love this fabric. Beautiful, isn't it? I think it? I'm going to get some and make some cushions for my lounge. 
Well, you are Mrs. William Morris, aren't you? Yes, in my land I am, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love that bag. I think I might have a go at making that myself. It's all good. It's all beautiful. Good. beautiful. Jane, thank you so, so much. It's a very welcome and it's a pleasure. Now, guys, remember, this is the last Friday of the month. Where did March go? Um, this Friday, which means we have an extra show. Um, it might be that there, Sarah Payne. It might not be. No. depending on the status of the vid for her yes. um if it is not it will be me it will be me making something lovely making something fabulous well um if it's me then we will do the beach bag this lovely big bag here. yeah and also this month's pay it forward because we haven't done that yet yes the, the dog beddies and pet beds rather not down you've beds. got down there you've got the in cave Yes, I have. So in the this beautiful is about this banana is leaf, which is stunning. And that's how different. Look at that as a beach bag. It looks in various different fabrics. I could see, you know, Christmas, all of, you know, you can go from your trend, hip and trendy niece to your mother. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrible because my mum would like the banana leaf. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful right. Bags. Yes, Elizabeth says we must remember Friday. Yes. Um, by the way, this is this is the difference. So the one the banana leaf one was the prototype and then it got honed slightly for the yeah. you can see it's just a, ever so slightly different in size. Yeah. But that is just because This is know. what happens with pattern development, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I wanted you to be able to make it um out of a half metre. Yeah. So that's that's where it needed to be. Yeah. All right, then, my lovelies, we will see you on Friday. I nearly said Monday. Friday, not tomorrow, Friday. Make sure that you grab yourself your half meter heavens tomorrow. Yes, there's some beautiful ones there, but some of them on low stock, aren't there? Really, like two. twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, um, please remember to tie your knot in your pajamas. <laughs> um, no, hang on, what was I going to say? No, you've forgotten because yeah, you know that. Because I sang. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So the Friday deals, rather than being in the newsletter, they're not all going to be there. Some will be on the show. Oh, cool. So it's a, mish a mishity show. mishmash yeah. show. Of course, read your newsletter because there'll be some in there. Yes. There'll also be some ba -ba -ba. Um, on yeah. the show. Yeah. All that. Nice. Yeah. All righty then. Uh, Jane, thank you ever so much. You're very welcome. Everybody take care. Have a lovely day for today and tomorrow and we'll see you Friday. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.